What's going on you guys? Torix here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some black salt. So let me go get mine. So this is the black salt that I buy from the store. I don't buy the jar, obviously. I put it in my own jar. So this is what it looks like. It's literally just like black salt. Don't really know what's in it. I buy this from a metaphysical type store. Don't really know what's in it. So I wanted to try to make my own. So I'm going to use some Himalayan salt. So I put the salt. All right. Himalayan salt. Let's seal that jar up. And now I'm going to take some charcoal powder you can use like charcoal disc i'm using charcoal powder you can take one of your charcoal discs that you used to burn stuff on and you can crush that up in a mortar and pestle that will work there's so much different ways oh my god this stuff is like oh just stained my other cloth <laughs> no they don't really put that much in it i'm gonna take like a spoon of this do two spoons or one and a half this isn't really a measurement spoon. This is just like a little bougie little witchy spoon. So I'm going to do that. And there's so many different ways you can make black salt. You can do it by just putting charcoal and salt and you mix this up and then you got your black salt. Some people will put like, you can put chili peppers in here. Like chili pepper flakes. You can put chili powder in here. There's so many different ways people make black salt. There's not just one way. So I'm gonna mix this up. And then when it's the perfect color, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my black salt all mixed together. I wanna add a little bit more salt to it because I feel like it's more powdery than salty. So I add like another tablespoon of salt. And I'm gonna mix that up. It's literally starting to look just like the store bought one. So I'm thinking they literally just put salt and charcoal powder. All right, so now my black salt here looks perfect for me and what I would use it for, just like this as charcoal and salt. But you can also add in red chili flake peppers to your black salt. You can add black pepper. You can add a little sprinkle of sage in there just to give it like an extra boost, but that'd be like an herbal black salt, which is not what we are doing today. Now with using and making black salt, you might ask, well, what do I use this for exactly? You can use black salt to drive away anything negative, anything that's gonna harm you. You can use it to drive away people, spirits, you can use it in stopping gossip spells, and it's really good for drive, just driving away negative and evil, malicious stuff. You can also use black salt as a very powerful protection salt or herb. It protects you. It absorbs negative energies. Um, you can also use black salt to reverse any spell work that someone has done to you. Anything malicious or like if someone put a love spell on you, if someone hexed you, if somebody put a spell, like just any type of spell that somebody casted towards you. This is a very good thing to use to reverse those spells and remove them from you. Now I will have a video soon on how exactly to use black salt in a reversing spell. Because just this, the charcoal and the salt right here. Is all you need for it is very simple you can take a photo of the person flip it over write their name their date of birth on it if you have like a piece of their hair you don't really need any hair or fingernail clippings from the person but as long as you have a picture of them and their name and their date of birth you take that you fold it up away from you and you can stick it right into this black salt you put it right in the middle there you fold it put it in there cover it and black salt and you can just put your intentions in there and it'll reverse whatever they put on you and send it right back to them like instant karma now some other great things you can use black salt for is it is a very good protection you can put this in your car you can sprinkle it around your home sprinkle it in the four corners of your bedroom you can take little vials such as these little type of vials and you can fill them up Hang it right on your mirror in your car. Take a little vial of black salt and put it under your bed. You can put the whole bowl just like this, right under your bed like that. If you don't want a mess, you can use little bottles. 
put them throughout your house in different areas. Sprinkle it along your doorstep, your front and back doors. You can sprinkle it around your entire house if you want to. Very universal protection and drawing away negative and reversing spells. It's a very universal and powerful herb. And finally, black salt is very good to be added to any like powdered mix. If you have a stopping gossip, you want someone to move away, you want to cleanse, like any type of those type of powders, like cleansing powders or powders that make someone stop doing something, like a drama or gossip, or you want someone just to move far away, you want someone to leave you alone, this is very good to add to all of those type of powders. You can even sprinkle this on a candle and a mojo bag and use it as a very powerful boost and that type of spell work as well. And if you want to really amplify your black salt, you can crush up some dragon dragon's blood resin and put it in there as well so that will be it for today you guys thanks for watching on how you can make and use black salt thanks for watching please like and subscribe until next time bye guys